Heraclitus of Ephesus on the Deals Crans system, fragment one. Though this word is true evermore, uppercase W, yet men are as unable to understand it when they hear it for the first time as before they have heard it at all. For though all things come to pass in accordance with this word, men seem as if they had no experience of them when they make trial of words and deeds such as I set forth, dividing each thing according to its kind, and showing how it is what it is. But other men know not what they are doing when awake, even as they forget what they do in sleep. Fragment 2 Though the Logos is common, the many live as if they had a wisdom of their own. Fragment 3 Concerning the size of the sun, it is the width of a human foot. Fragment 4. If happiness consisted in the pleasures of the body, we should call oxen happy whenever they come across bitter vetch to eat. Fragment 5. They vainly purify themselves by defiling themselves with blood, just as if one who had stepped into the mud were to wash his feet in mud. Any man who marked him doing thus would deem him mad. And they pray to these images as if one were to talk with a man's house, knowing not what gods or heroes are. Fragment 6. The sun, as Heraclitus says, is new every day. Fragment 7. If all things were turned to smoke, the nostrils would distinguish them. Fragment 8. What opposes unites, and the finest attunement stems from things bearing in opposite directions, and all things come about by strife. Fragment 9. For a horse, a dog, and a human being have different pleasures. Donkeys prefer straw to gold, since donkeys find food sweeter than gold. Fragment 10. Graspings, things whole and not whole, what is drawn together and what is drawn asunder, the harmonious and discordant. The one is made up of all things, and all things issue from the one. Fragment 11. Every beast is driven to pasture with a blow. Fragment 12. On those who enter the same rivers, ever different waters flow. Fragment 13. Pigs delight in the mire more than in clean water. Fragment 14. The mysteries practiced among men are unholy mysteries. Fragment 15. For if it were not to Dionysus that they made a procession and sang the shameful phallic hymn, they would be acting most shamelessly. But Hades is the same as Dionysus, in whose honor they go mad and rave. Fragment 16. How can one hide from that which never sets? Fragment 17. The many do not take heed of such things as those they meet with, nor do they recognize them when they are taught, though they think they do. Fragment 18. If you do not expect the unexpected, you will not find it, for it is hard to be sought out and difficult. Fragment 19. Knowing not how to listen, they do not know how to speak. Fragment 20. When they are born, they wish to live and to meet with their dooms, or rather, to rest, and they leave children behind them to meet with their dooms in turn. Fragment 21. All the things we see when awake are death, even as all we see in slumber are sleep. Fragment 22. Those who seek for gold dig up much earth and find a little. Fragment 23. 
they would not have known the name of justice if these things were not. Fragment 24. Gods and men honor those who are slain by Ares. Fragment 25. Greater deaths win greater portions. Fragment, fragment 26. Man kindles a light for himself in the nighttime when he has died but is alive. The sleeper whose vision has been put out lights up from the dead. He that is awake lights up from the sleeping. Fragment 27. There awaits men when they die such things as they look not for nor dream of. Fragment 28. The most esteemed of them knows, holds fast to, fancies. Justice shall overtake the artificers of lies and the false witnesses. Fragment 29. For even the best of them choose one thing above all others, immortal glory among mortals, while most of them are glutted like beasts. Fragment 30. This world, which is the same for all, no one of gods or men has made, but it always was, is, and will be an ever-living fire, capital F, with measures of it kindling and measures going out. Fragment 31. The Transformations of Fire. First sea, and of the sea half is earth, half whirlwind. Sea pours out, and is measured by the same amount as before it became earth. Fragment 32. The wise is one only. It is unwilling and willing to be called by the name of Zeus. Fragment 33. And it is a law, too, to obey the counsel of one. Fragment 34. Hearing they do not understand, like the deaf, of them does the saying bear witness, present they are absent. Fragment 35. Men that love wisdom must be inquirers into very many things indeed. Fragment 36. For it is death to souls to become water, and death to water to become earth. But water comes from earth, and from water, soul. Fragment 37. Swine wash in the mire, and barnyard fowls and dust. Fragment 38. Thales foretold an eclipse. Fragment 39. In Prien lived Bias, son of Teutamas, who is of more account than the rest. Fragment 40. The learning of many things does not teach understanding, otherwise it would have taught Hesiod and Pythagoras, and again Xenophanes and Hecateus. Fragment 41. Wisdom is one thing. It is to know the thought by which all things are steered through all things. Fragment 42. Homer deserves to be taken out of the games and beaten with a stick. And Archilochus too. Fragment 43. Wantonness needs putting out even more than a house on fire. Fragment 44. The people must fight for its law as for its walls. Fragment 45. Traveling on every path, you will not find the boundaries of soul by going. So deep is its measure. Fragment 46. Heraclitus said that thinking is a sacred disease and that sight is deceptive. Another version of Fragment 46 on wikisource.org. Self-conceit is a falling sickness, epilepsy, and eyesight, a lying sense. 
Fragment 47. Let us not conjecture randomly about the most important things. Fragment 48. Bow. The bow's name is life, though its work is death. Parenthetical bios, Homeric word for bow, bios, life. Fragment 49. One is ten thousand to me, if he be the best. Fragment 49a. We step and do not step into the same rivers. We are and are not. Fragment 50. It is wise to hearken not to me, but to my word, uppercase W, and to confess that all things are one. Fragment 51. Men do not know how what is at variance agrees with itself. It is an attunement of opposite tensions, like that of the bow and the lyre. Fragment 52. Time is a child at play, moving pieces in a board game. The kingly power is a child's. Fragment 53. War is the father of all and the king of all. In some he has made gods and some men, some bond and some free. Fragment 54. The hidden attunement is better than the open. Fragment 55. The things that can be seen, heard, and learned are what I prize the most. Fragment 56. Men allow themselves to be deceived as Homer was, who yet was wiser than all the Greeks. For some boys killing lice deceived him, saying, What we see and catch we leave behind. What we neither see nor catch we take with us. Fragment 57. Hesiod is most men's teacher. Men are sure he knew very many things. A man who did not know day or night. They are one. Fragment 58. Physicians who cut, burn, stab, and rack the sick demand a fee for it, which they do not deserve to get. Fragment 59. The path of writing is crooked and straight. Fragment 60. The way up and the way down is one and the same. Fragment 61. The sea is the purest and the impurest water. Fish can drink it, and it is good for them. To men, it is undrinkable and destructive. Fragment 62. Mortals are immortals, and immortals are mortals. The one living the other's death, and dying the other's life. Fragment 63. Dot, 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 that they rise up and become the wakeful guardians of the living and the dead. Fragment 64, the thunderbolt that steers all things. Or, it is the thunderbolt that steers the course of all things. Fragment 65, fire is want and surfeit. Fragment 66, Fire in its advance will judge and convict all things. Fragment 67. God is day and night, winter and summer, war and peace, surfeit and hunger, but he takes various shapes just as fire when it is mingled with spices is named according to the savor of each. Fragment 68. Therefore Heraclitus rightly called them atonements, since they are to make amends for evils, and render the souls free from the dangers in generation. Fragment 69 from Iamblichus, saying, I distinguish two kinds of sacrifices. First, those of men wholly purified, such as would rarely happen in the case of a single individual, as Heraclitus says, or of a certain very few men. Fragment 70. Human opinions are children's toys. Fragment 71, 
Think too of him who forgets where the way leads. Fragment 72, they are estranged from that which they have most constant intercourse, or most are at odds with that which they most constantly associate, the account which governs the universe, and what they meet with every day seems foreign to them. Fragment 73, it is not meet to act and speak like men asleep. Fragment 74, we should not act and speak like children of our parents, that is, in the way that has been handed down to us. Fragment 75, those who are asleep are fellow workers in what goes on in the world. Fragment 76, the death of fire is the birth of air, and the death of air is the birth of water. Fragment 77, it is a pleasure to souls to become moist. Fragment 78, the way of man has no wisdom, but that of God has. Fragment 79, man is called a baby by God, even as a child is called a baby by a man. Fragment 80, we must know that war is common to all and strife is justice and that all things come into being through strife, necessarily. Or, that all things come into being and pass away through strife. Fragment 81, and according to Heraclitus, rhetoric is the prince of liars. Fragment 82, the most handsome of apes is ugly in comparison with a human. Fragment 83, the wisest of men in contrast to God appears as an ape in wisdom and beauty in all things. Or brought together, fragments 82 and 83, the wisest man is an ape compared to God, just as the most beautiful ape is ugly compared to man. Fragment 85, it is hard to fight with one's heart's desire. Whatever it wishes to get, it purchases at the cost of soul. Oops, I skipped 84. It rests by changing. It is a weariness to labor for the same masters and be ruled by them. Fragment 86. The wise man is not known because of men's want of belief. Or, but the greater part of things divine, according to Heraclitus, escape recognition due to lack of confidence. Fragment 87. The fool is fluttered at every word. Fragment 88. And it is the same thing in us that is quick and dead, awake and asleep, young and old. The former are shifted and become the latter, and the latter in turn are shifted and become the former. Fragment 89. The waking have one world common but the sleeping turn aside each into a world of his own. Or the waking have one common world, but the sleeping turn aside each into a world of his own. Fragment 90. All things are an interchange for fire, and fire for all things. Just like goods for gold and gold for goods. Fragment 91. It scatters and it gathers. It advances and retires. Or, for fragment 91, for according to Heraclitus, it is not possible to step twice into the same river, nor is it possible to touch a mortal substance twice in so far as its state is concerned. But thanks to the swiftness and speed of change, it scatters things and brings them together again, or rather it brings together and lets go neither again nor later but simultaneously. It forms and dissolves and it approaches and departs. Fragment 92. And the Sibyl, with raving lips, uttering things mirthless, unbedizened, and unperfumed, reaches over a thousand years with her voice, thanks to the god in her. Uh, I'm informed that it's bedizened, unbedizened, not dressed up or decorated gaudily. Fragment 93, the Lord whose is the oracle at Delphi 
neither speaks nor hides his meaning, but gives a sign. Fragment 94. The sun will not overstep his measures. If he does, the Aeneas, the handmaids of justice, will find him out. Sorry, the Aeneas, handmaids of justice. Fragment 95. It is best to hide folly. Or, fragment 95, it is best to hide folly, but it is hard in times of relaxation over our cups. Fragment 96, corpses are more fit to be cast out than dung. Fragment 97, dogs bark at everyone they do not recognize. Fragment 98, souls smell in Hades. Fragment 99, if there were no sun, on account of the other stars, it would be night. Fragment 100, the cycles. Of these, the sun is commander and overseer for determining the changes in the seasons which carry all things. Fragment 101, I searched myself. Fragment 102, to God all things are fair and good and just, but men hold some things wrong and some right. Fragment 103, concerning the circumference of a circle, the beginning and end are common. Fragment 104, for what, they, for what thought or wisdom have they, they follow the poets and take the crowd as their teacher, knowing not that the many are bad and few good. Fragment 105. Homer was an astronomer. Fragment 106. One day is like any other. Or Heraclitus attacked Hesiod for making some days good and others bad because he did not recognize that the nature of every day is one. Fragment 107. Eyes and ears are bad witnesses to men who have barbarian souls. Or, eyes and ears are bad witnesses to men if they have souls that understand not their language. Fragment 108. Of all whose discourses I have heard, there is not one who attains to recognizing what is wise, set apart from all. Or, of all whose discourses I have heard, there is not one who attains to recognizing that the wise is set apart from all. And I don't think there's any difference of meaning there, just grammar. Fragment 109, it is better to conceal ignorance than to expose it. Fragment 110. It is not better for men to get all they wish to get. Fragment 111. It is sickness that makes health pleasant and good. Hunger, plenty. Weariness, rest. Fragment 112. Thinking well is the greatest excellence, and wisdom is to act and speak what is true, perceiving things according to their nature. Or, 112, is self-control is the highest virtue, and wisdom is to speak truth and consciously to act according to nature. Fragment 113, thought is common to all. Fragment 114, those who speak with understanding must hold fast to what is common to all, as a city holds fast to its law, and even more strongly. For all human laws are fed by the Divine One. It prevails as much as it will, and suffices for all things with something to spare. Fragment 115. The Logos of the soul is increasing itself. Or, to the soul belongs the self-multiplying Logos. Fragment 116, it pertains to all men to know themselves and to learn self-control, or recognizing oneself and being of a sound mind are for all men. 
Fragment 117, a man when he gets drunk is led by a beardless lad, tripping, knowing not where he steps, having his soul moist. Fragment 118, the dry soul is the wisest and best, or a dry gleam of light is the wisest and best soul. Fragment 119, man's character is his fate. Fragment 120, the limit of dawn and evening is the bear, and opposite the bear is the boundary of bright Zeus. Fragment 121, the Ephesians would do well to hang themselves, every grown man of them, and leave this city the beardless lads, for they have cast out Hermodorus, the best man among them, saying, We will have none who is best among us. If there be any such, let him be so elsewhere and among others. Fragment 122. Debate. Fragment 123. Nature loves to hide. Fragment 124. The most beautiful universe is a pouring out of sweepings at random. Or... The fairest cosmos, capital C, is merely a rubbish heap poured out at random. Fragment 125. Even the barley drink separates if it is not stirred. Fragment 125a. May your wealth not let you down, Ephesians, that you might be convicted of being scoundrels. Fragment 126, cold things become warm, and what is warm cools, what is wet dries, and the parched is moistened. 129, Pythagoras, son of Nemesarchus, or Mnesarchus, M-N-E-S-A-R-C-H-U-S, Anyway, Pythagoras pursued inquiry further than all other